Yes, it's Eddie the Magic Monk. Eddie the Magic Monk. Eddie the Magic Monk. Eddie the Magic Monk. Hey guys, Eddie the Magic Monk. Welcome to another Access video. Last lesson we talked about how to customize your form so that it looks a lot neater than the default one created from the wizard. The next thing we want to do now is to create a calculator control. Okay, so what's a calculator control? It's basically a piece of data that is calculated from other pieces of data on your form. Okay, so one example would be the age of students. So how old is Brian Chen? Well, looking at his birthday, it's about uh, probably about 17 years old. Okay, but that number 17 is not part of the data in the database. So what we're doing is we are calculating it from the birthday. So how do we do that? How do we do that? Uh, so what we want to do is I'm going to show you how to create a new control in the form. So let's go to layout view. Um, in layout view, you can create a new control by going to design, go to text box and just create a new text box. Drag it to where you want it to be. Okay, drag it over here. So you can see um, there are some alignment things you might have to do already. But, um, oops, maybe not. Okay, so then what I want to do is I want to say age. Okay, and this number here. Okay, what do I type in here? Very simple. You need to go to the property sheet. Okay, and you can see when you click on other controls, it tells you the data source, the control source. So we got birth date, we have username, we have student name. So this one, it's going to come from the uh, birthday as well. Okay, so let's go to the three dots. Okay, and we're going to use some functions. We're going to use a function that is going to help us calculate um, the age. So I'm going to uh, show you the uh, function that we're going to use. You can find it through here, um, go into date time, and the date difference is what we need to use. So it's got a little help thing here, but if you click that, okay, it gives you a little bit more help in a browser. In a browser, it gives you a little bit more help. Okay, so you can read through all of this if you want. Um, but basically, this is the syntax. So I'm just going to put equals date difference bracket. Okay, now the first part is the interval. And if you have a look at the help file, basically, we are just going to want how many years. How many years are between two dates? Which two dates are we finding the difference between? We're finding the difference between the birth date and today's date. Today's date. We're finding the difference between these two dates and we want to return how many years are between them. So let's click on OK and you can see it's got 17. Okay, and you can keep going to every single person, automatically calculates the date for you. And in case you miss the function, uh, you can just click on the date, uh, sorry, the age box, and here is the function we typed in. In case you want to copy it again, there are two brackets at the end in case you missed it. All right, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Thanks for watching guys, see you next time.